Hey guys, it's me, Pokemon. I'm back. It's no secret that the Magneto event is coming to this game soon. I believe 11 days. I haven't been keeping too close of an eye on it because I'm not going to be getting Magneto the first time around. I just don't have enough of these characters built up. But I'm going to be going through all the new Brotherhood characters one by one. Now that we've had a little bit of time with them in the game, we've sort of got acclimated to them. And let me say, the Brotherhood are kind of scary. Just saying from the beta raids, when I'm going up against Firestorm, Sabretooth, I'm like, oh. And then Sabretooth, man, he's just a scary guy. Sabretooth, you know, a little homicidal. He's all big with those giant claws. You know, Pyros spewing out fire everywhere. That's a that's a scary team to go um, up against. But today I want to talk about arguably the least impressive character out of the Brotherhood, in my opinion, and that is Mystique. So she was the first one to come out. She came out last month. They just casually threw her off into some campaign node, and they're like, there you go. You can farm Mystique now. So, you know, hey, I mean, I'm not complaining. She's farmable, so, you know... It, I, uh, that's good, I guess. Um, and we're going to go through her skills today, talk about how I feel about her and why I don't necessarily think she's all that great. The, well, I'll talk about what, what I really think about Mystique once we go through her entire kit. So first off, her basic attack, Mimic Strength. She'll attack the primary target for 210% damage, plus bonus attack one to two times for 160% damage, and then she'll copy two positive effects and apply them to self. And if Magneto is her ally, she'll copy all positive effects. So this is a good skill in certain situations. Um, this is sort of designed in mind with like, say you're up against Nick Fury and he has like seven, you know, crazy status uh, effects on him, or really any of the shield characters when you're going up against them when they're all united. You know, this is sort of designed with the idea that Ma or Mystique is going to attack them and she's going to get uber buffed then. So in that scenario, it's very good. Um, but in a common scenario, you're going to find yourself in this isn't really all that helpful you know there's not all that usually there's maybe one or two positive effects but like you know i feel like she's giving up some damage on this skill to then gain the ability to copy positive effects but this isn't necessarily something that's always going to be useful to you so it's just sort of like a mess skill and then really like oh in certain situations next up she has infiltrate this is her special skill she'll attack the primary target for 240 percent damage and then attack three additional targets that do not have stealth for 170 percent damage this is the interesting part of the skill She'll attack all additional targets that do have stealth for 170% damage, then clear the stealth from them. And if nobody has stealth, then she'll gain stealth. And then if Magneto's an ally, this attack becomes unavoidable. So interesting skill here. Again, damage is sort of not that great, but in this skill, just like we saw with the past skill, she's giving up damage for utility. What's interesting about this skill is how it'll attack stealth enemies and then remove it, plus it being unavoidable. So I don't know how that works with evades, but that might be a little bit of a counter to hand sentry. But more specifically, the people that it's meant to counter is, again, that Nick Fury team or shield operative would give him invisibility, then he'd spread the invisibility to the team. Or against a Black Widow, where she's going to apply invisibility. You know, this is sort of who is in mind with this skill. She's sort of built to counter, you know, Black Widow, um, maybe the hand, depending on how it works with Evade. Some of these positive and negative effects can get kind of complicated in Nick Fury. So we can see again, she's trying to infiltrate, you know, infiltrate um, the Nick Fury team. And then Shapeshifter, I'd argue, uh, you know, in terms of what it's doing, you know, like if we think about it canonically, what she's doing right now is very cool. She'll shapeshift and like, oh, that's really cool. But in terms of like uh, gameplay wise, what it really does, not that interesting. Shapeshifter, she'll attack the primary target for 150% damage. She'll trick one random enemy to attack the primary target, and then the tricked enemy gains plus 200% damage for this attack gain of eight. So this is one of those skills that can be very good depending on who you get to attack who. You know, say you use Shapeshifter on Star-Lord, and then Rocket Raccoon turns around and shoots him. You know, that's going to be a hefty amount of damage, or say Gamora goes around to attack Star-Lord. But say you use this on Star-Lord, and then, you know, Drax decides it's his turn to hit Star-Lord, you know. That doesn't really help you out all that much, but it's a interesting skill again She's giving up the base damage right there that it's only does hundred and fifty percent base damage the utility That she's gonna gain evade and then the tricked enemies are gonna be attacking the person that she's sort of mimicking And then her passive is subterfuge on spawn gain evade and then gain 1000% resistance against bleed again We're seeing a counter against black widow because black widow applies bleeds. Yeah, I just double touched she applies bleeds with her uh, stun skill I had to make sure I knew that because you don't want to mess up a fact in a YouTube video, and because I've I've never messed up a fact in a YouTube video before. Never. I everything's always absolutely 100% correct in my YouTube videos. But on Magneto's turn, prolong all positive effects on self and Magneto by a duration of one up to a maximum of three. So this is interesting. This could potentially mean Magneto could have 
infinite buffs? I don't know. This is weird because if it's on Magneto's turn, she'll prolong the positive effect. So say it has a two turn, you know, Magneto's go downs to a one at the start of his turn, then she'll prolong it back to a two. So could Magneto potentially have infinite buffs and Mystique could they potentially have infinite buffs? I don't know. We'd have to see how that works in game. Nobody has Magneto, so we don't know quite yet. But that is some interesting stuff right there. All of her skills really um, do a bunch of interesting stuff if Magneto's on the team. So that even with Magneto on the team, though, I don't think Mystique is all that great of a character. She's built for very specific circumstances when you're going up against Black Widow or you're going up against Nick Fury. But in a general scenario where you're taking the Brotherhood team into a raid or into an arena or into a blitz, you know, I think one day when we get more Brotherhood characters, you know, say we get Blob or say we get Toad or somebody like that, you know, I think they're just going to be better than Mystique for general use. Um, but right now, she's still one of your best options to farm at Magneto because she just has a campaign node. So even though she's not the best, I still advise you do farm her up in order to get Magneto. And then one day, hopefully, you can switch her out. But keep her around, you know, for those circumstances where you're seeing a team and there's Black Widow there. And you're like, oh, Mystique, you know, you pull her out of the darkness. You're like, come on, it's your time. You're finally going to be useful. And in that scenario, Mystique's really going to shine. And that's why she sort of suffered on the tier list. I put her in like a C tier because she's just super situational. So just always keep that in mind with Mystique. You know, she's not going to be an all-star player, but she's still one of your best options at the moment. And she's your only option really for a full Brotherhood team because right now there's only five Brotherhood characters and that's including Mystique. So right now, farm her up. But, you know, if you're watching this video two years down the line, maybe you don't really need Mystique nowadays. But with that being said, let me know who you think about Mystique down below because I am just a 17-year-old. You know, what do I really know about Marvel Strike Force? With that being said, see you guys later. Signing off, guys.